am back with another interesting topic. Hope you all will like it and do comment down in the comment section below. So without any further delay, let's get started. So today's topic is how to make responsive navigation bar using HTML and CSS. So starting with the structure of navigation bar, which is mainly divided into four parts, header, navigation bar or menu, content and footer. The header element represents a container for the introductory content or a set of navigational links. The nav tag defines a set of navigation links. The content defines the overview of the website which is usually represented by h1 and p tags. The footer tag defines a footer for a document or section. Starting with the basic HTML tags which we did in the last videos. Here within the body tag we are using div tag. The div tag defines a division or a section in an HTML document. The div tag is used as a container for HTML elements, which is then styled with CSS or manipulated with JavaScript. The div tag is easily styled by using the class or ID attribute. Any sort of content can be put inside the div tag. Here, I am using first div tag as header and second div tag as nav. Within nav tag, there is the list of navigation links options which is represented by li tag within ul tag, unordered lists. Now for the styling of the website using style tag just before closed head tag. Starting with header tag. Keeping the width of header as 100%, height as 100 pixel, border as 2 pixel solid white you can also choose background color of your choice just check the html color code from the website Repeating the same steps for nav bar.
saving the file as 86.html to check the progress. Now coming to the styling of the list, keeping the list style type as none as it removes the bullets. A navigation bar does not need list markers. The display property specifies the display behavior, the type of rendering box of an element. Here using the display as inline block. It displays an element as an inline level block container. The element itself is formatted as an inline element but you can apply height and width values. The gap between the navigation options is represented by padding followed by font size, font weight and color. Now, last but not the least, Hover. The Hover selector is used to select elements when you mouse over them. The Hover selector can be used on all elements, not only on links. To add a background image to the website, styling the body, setting background image, background size and background position. Now, to create the linking web pages, you just need to copy paste the home page code and the main content of the web page can be written within the body tag just beneath div closing tag. Don't forget to insert the link of the web pages in the div part to make the page responsive.
you can create as much linking web pages you can this website is just a prototype you can design it as per your wish So that's it for today. Hope you all found my content useful. If it's so, then don't forget to subscribe my channel Code with Neha and press the bell icon for regular updates. See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay happy.